Hello, Transurfers and the Transurfing Curious. I am Renee Garcia, and this is Transurfing TV, the only official reality Transurfing YouTube channel endorsed by Vadim Zeeland himself, the author of Reality Transurfing. If you have not yet subscribed, please do so now by clicking the link. And if you are not a member of our Facebook group, the International Transurfing Institute Facebook group, please uh, join us for conversations, fun ones like this and many, many more. And yeah, we are going to get into how to win the lottery. I know this is gonna be like, people are gonna say, oh my gosh, I'm gonna win the lottery and then get upset when they do not, but I'm going to give you the best possible chances of winning the lottery. I am a little bit of a gambler in nature. I will admit I play the lottery all the time and I gamble. Uh, I don't gamble irresponsibly. I probably only gamble a couple times a year, but I have a certain method that I like to use. And I would say that I'm, I'm probably leaving the casino 75% of the time a winner. So if anybody has a good little formula, uh, that I know it's me, but I am not in any way endorsing gambling or even playing the lottery. So uh, yeah, I don't want you to go spend your money um, needlessly because you saw this video and you think that you can go win the lottery. So please be responsible with your money and don't, don't act a fool. So uh, yeah, how to win the lottery. So it's accepting first off that this variation of reality exists. So there is a variation that you get the numbers and you win, right? This is not, this happens to people all the time and saying this happens for others, but not me. This is kind of like, you know, limiting beliefs 101. That's for others. It's not for me. No, you know what? It is for you and it's probably a long shot, but you know what? You have just as much of a chance to win it as anyone else. So I feel that when I gamble, okay, especially when I'm gambling, most of the time when I'm playing the lottery, but especially when I'm gambling, that I only gamble when I am on the wave of success. So I never ever go into a casino when I am in an induced transition. It doesn't matter if I had plans to or I've made plans, I simply do not do it. I only go in when I'm on the wave of success. So transurfing will get you there, right? So if you understand what it takes to catch that wave and you do catch that wave, you know, go roll the dice when you're on the wave and maybe, maybe you'll hit it, right? So same with the lottery. So remember that fortunate events exponentially increase when we have found the wave. So Vadim Zeeland gives the, uh, the example of really acknowledging a very, very small win, no matter how small, that the wave of success always starts with the acknowledgement of a small win. So if you're walking down the street and you see a penny on the ground, pick it up. That is a small win. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how, how small it is, but acknowledge that, hey, this could be the beginning of a wave. Then what happens is you have, you have latched onto that positive information. So your reality will show you more positive exponentially. So then if you can, if you can go, okay, well, this is going to happen. And oh, there it is. There's the, uh, there's the positive information. Grab onto that. Then then the spiral goes up and of course when you get to the top the top is the wave of fortune the wave of success so it is of my opinion that if you are going to win the lottery or you are going to win win some money gambling that it is going to be up here so again it, it's only going to happen if you're on the wave it's not going to happen if you are in an induced transition heart and mind coordination so i have my heart and mind coordinated numbers i go to the casino or when i play the lottery i play the same numbers every single time because these are numbers that i have felt some affinity to some connection with okay so i go and i put into my reality the numbers that i feel Feel. Uh, or if you want, you can leave it up to the alternative space and let the alternative space pick them for you. This might be just as effective. It 
it's not what I do, but maybe uh, this will work for you. Remain consistent. Most material manifests when consistent action is taken. So this is my golden key to winning at the casino. I remain consistent. I play the same two games. I play Baccarat. I always bet on myself. I never bet on the dealer. And I play roulette. And I always bet on the exact same numbers. I never, ever, ever vary. I bet on 17, 25, 20, and all their borders. So I don't know if you're familiar with the roulette game, but those are the three numbers that I play. I play all their borders and I sit down at the table and I play them consistently until I hit it. And usually uh, if I I don't hit the number that I'm betting on. I've played all their borders, so there's really a bunch of other options for me to win too, and I walk out with money in my pocket. So that's kind of my game. Those are my games. The reason that I like roulette is because, or sorry, um, Baccarat is because it's 50-50 odds. It's the best odds in the house, and if you bet on yourself, then you got 50-50 chance of coming up, and it really does work for me. So yeah, those are, if you wanna take my my gambling uh, tips and take them to the casino more power to you and I hope you win so this is where the rubber meets the road dropping importance on winning so this is valuable for me anytime I play the lottery I like to fantasize just as much as the next person but then I say to myself obviously my life my reality is really good right now I don't need to win the lottery so again getting back to the idea of importance and when you drop importance it allows that thing to come in uh, more closely to you I really feel that if you have um, that in your cards so to speak that it is going to come to you via these steps and then dropping importance it's the same thing with the casino I walk into uh, the casino with $500 and I assume that I am going to lose it I assume I play that negative slide that it is not going to work out for me and I'm going to leave $500 poorer. Now I you rarely do that so it obviously works for me. If you think this video is bullshit you aren't going to win the lottery. Okay, so again, it is about positive thinking. It's about coming up with a strategy that you believe in. And that's really the only way that you're gonna hit it, is if you believe that what you're doing is right. If you don't believe it, then you are tuning into that layer of reality, that sector, and you're not gonna win. So <laughs> take, that, take that for what you want, guys. I'm very curious to hear your comments on this one. Uh, I have not hit the lottery big. I've hit the lottery many times, but I think the most I've ever won is probably like 150 bucks. I win a little more gambling, so that's kind of my thing. But I still do play the lottery regularly. I just don't play a lot. I play either $2 or at the very, very most, I play $10 and I get five tickets. So dropping importance again. Dropping importance is absolutely key. I tell myself, you know what? No big deal either way. If I win, I win. If I don't, I don't. And that allows me to have fun with it. It allows me to fantasize. It allows me to possibly connect with that sector of reality should I hit it big. And I really think that my thought quality and um, action it will eventually get me there, right? And if it doesn't, so what? I'm, I'm, I've, I've dropped importance on it. So thanks so much, uh, Benjamin Sinomono, for giving me the inspiration to do this one. I know that your version was gonna be a little more harsh and to tell people that they weren't probably gonna hit the, re uh, the lottery in the beginning, but I actually do think that this will work. And maybe if you buy into my theory, your reality will provide you evidence to support it, and that is obviously you winning the lottery. So good luck, guys, and remember, be responsible. Bye.